All right, folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. Uh, we've got a great amperage reading from our step-down transformers now. I'm going to kind of go through with you real quick exactly how I hooked this up to achieve these amperage readings. First of all, you can see here on the meter, which you'll be able to see nice and clean in the shot here, uh, we've got that set up for the 10 amp reading on DC current. We have our red lead or our positive lead, but this is uh, actually running in a circuit. So we have our one side of our meter hooked to the one side of our step-down transformer bank. Now we have the negative, if you follow the negative line here, it's actually, if I pull this out for you, the negative line is actually taped directly into this nice thick triple strand cable here. It's all three uh, number six wires there. Follow that up. We've got that running and taped on to our neutralizer bar here. Maybe I can give you a better angle if I switch here. Alright, so we've got that mounted on the same side neutralizer bar. If you cross this over, it doesn't work. So if I have this over on the other side of the neutralizer bar from the block here, you won't get a reading. If you have this on this side and you run it to the other side capacitor bank, you're not going to see anything. you got to make sure it's on the same side. So once again, running that down directly into our meter, and here we go. There you go, folks. That should give us as this winds down now. Wow, that's pretty good amperage right there. And it doesn't stop producing that amperage until it almost completely stops in motion. Uh, I'm going to re-look over this film we just took here and see what kind of amperage we got. Uh, we already know our voltage since I showed you that in the last film. Let me go ahead and back out. Once again, we are using our step-down transformer bank. You can see here how I was able to run a power cord all the way from our neutralizer bar all the way down into our meter here. One side of our meter into one side of our step down transformer. So we've got 31 volts. Real quick I'm going to take a look at the film, see what kind of amperage and I'll uh, get back on here and let you know exactly what kind of wattage that was. Alright so I've taken just a second there just to take a look at those films. We're going to go ahead and set the camera right there. Uh, here's what I've come up with. I saw some spikes throughout that whole long progression I ran there. Uh, some of those spikes said 19 amps. Now whether or not they really are, that's going to wait to be seen here. Uh, our main peak voltage, let's say our average peak voltage was 33 volts. That's 627 watts of potential power right there. If everything's rating right, if, if everything's correct. Now on average I saw we were between 5 and 7 amps. Now let's drop that 33 volts down to 30 volts with some loss. We're talking with 7 amps, 210 potential watts. Uh, with the 5 amps at 30 volts, we're talking 150 potential watts. I did see 13 uh, amps quite a few times throughout that. And that at 33 volts would be 429 watts. So if, if we look at the very smallest measurement we have there through our step down, and also one thing you've got to take into consideration here, folks, is I'm only using one leg of my output. I've got an entire no another leg right here of my output that I can still tap into. So if this is correct, we're talking about possibly, let's say at the bottom range of that, 150 watts worth of electricity just on one leg of my output right here. So hopefully this is okay and, and at least somewhat close. And as we get a pulsing DC built and some other things that are part of this, uh, we'll be able to true that voltage up and, or that amperage up a bit and we'll be able to tell exactly what kind of wattage we're really producing from this system. Uh, so far we've been able to produce both a steady amperage reading and a steady voltage reading from our step-down system. Uh, both are very encouraging numbers. 
So we're going to continue this project. Until next time, I hope you enjoy. This was Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show.